Subscribe to smartphone tutorials and hit the notification bell icon to get instant notification. So hey guys, a few days back I posted a question on the community that should I make a video talking about the issues that all of y'all are facing and the strong points and the weak points of POCO and more than 90% of you guys said yes. So this is it. This is the video in which we will go ahead and talk about the ghost touch issues, the heating issues, the battery backup issues, should you update to the latest software version or not, do I use Gorilla Glass 5 alone or I put a screen protector on it, do I charge the phone overnight or not. So there are at least more than 10 different questions that I'm going to talk about in this particular video and overall that should sum up my experience with the Pocophone F1. Now remember this phone is here to stay i am looking forward to get the k20 pro and the note 7 pro on the channel but that doesn't mean that the poco will lose importance it is a very very strong audience that i have for the poco phone and trust me guys that will continue so to sum it up this is the video in which all your questions will be answered but before we begin with that if you haven't already please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time i upload a video at the same time here's a card to my second channel that is kratos 390 go ahead and check that channel out as well now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to smartphone tutorials my name is kalash let's get going Hey guys, welcome to a very very special video. This has been due for a very long time. Say about 10 days back, I had put up a poll on the channel that do you want me to cover all the issues in one particular video and address the answers in that one and 91% of y'all said yes across a thousand votes. So here it is. This is a video that you guys were waiting for. This is going to be a very very short 5 minute video in which I will answer all your questions and maybe in the comment section of this video you can let me know your feedback so that accordingly we can make more content for this device. Now remember this device is around 60 videos old on this particular channel and that is the longest a device has been around. The last time this happened was I believe with the OnePlus 6 or 5T which did cross 50 videos. That is not important. What is important here is the problems that you're facing with the Pocophone F1. The first one being ghost touch issue. This is a very very nagging issue for a lot of lot of lot of subscribers and a lot of people who have the Poco phone. Now here's my take on it. I've never had a ghost touch issue on my phone. And even if I had, I would not notice it now because recently Xiaomi have replaced my display. If you have a ghost touch issue, please make a video clip about it or please do something about it and take it to Xiaomi. If they refuse to fix it for you, please come back to me, put it up on my comment section. I will do something in which we can go ahead and help each other around the country or maybe even around the globe and we can address this to Xiaomi so that they can replace displays. Now, this also means that if your phone is, you know, plagued with the issue of a bleeding display or a bleeding edge display whatever you want to call it you can get your display replaced as well so when my display was replaced the first display that was given to me had more screen bleeding compared to the one which i already had so i did have to make some noise about it but then again they did replace it for me and since then everything has been perfectly fine for me now the next problem that we're going to talk about that you guys have been addressing is touch freeze while playing PUBG. Now to tell you the truth this is a device on which I play PUBG very very rarely because I'm an emulator player but whenever I do play say when I'm away or I'm traveling or you know whatever it is when I don't have access to my PC this phone has never disappointed me especially when we have phones like the Asus Zenfone 6 or Asus 6Z or OnePlus 7 Pro and maybe the iPhone XS Max and stuff like that. So those are top tier devices along with which I play PUBG on my device and the experience may not be exactly similar because this phone is slightly underpowered when it compare it to the iPhones. But I've not had overheating issues, I've not had you know touch freeze issues at all. That answers your third question as well overheating um okay you may not get to play all day long as i advertised that you know the battery would run for like 10 games in a row it may be a little less than that but if you play pubg back to back even despite charging the phone uh yeah the battery charges very very slowly but the phone doesn't heat up it does heat up but not to the extent wherein you would call it overheating now next up we're talking about a very very common issue being mentioned about pubg 
players who own a poco phone is frame drop now the frame drops are there but trust me the frame drops are not to the extent wherein you would die or your gameplay would be affected for example one of my friends does have a note 7 pro and that is much more pathetic when it comes to playing pubg compared to the poco phone f1 so if your primary goal of this device is to play PUBG, well, go for it. Even now, you can go for it because it is extremely good value. Now, in the 10.3.5 update, a lot of you complain that you're getting the low volume or low speaker issue. If you have that problem, please go ahead and update the latest version of MIUI for the POCO, that is 10.3.6, that has been fixed. Now, next question, a very, very important one. A lot of you have been making fun about it. A lot of you have been trolling and stuff like that. That's fine. And the question is, when will full reviews come? The full reviews are underway. Now, remember guys, for me to make a full ROM review, I have to install that ROM. I have to get all my data back on the device and I have to use the phone with that particular ROM at least at a bare minimum for two days. And then I have to gather all the data and put in a full five point ROM review system. The editing of that itself will take around eight to 10 hours, maybe even 12 hours. So that is the reason I've decided that every week, Maybe on a Monday or a Tuesday, I'll put up a poll. You can let me know in the comment section on which day do you want to see a ROM review. So every week I will be reviewing one ROM and then we will have a lot of customization videos and other stuff. So yes, ROM reviews are planned and they will definitely come. Will you review each and every ROM is another question that I come across. Not really the way this particular channel works, two phases for a ROM. The first video is the install and preview in which I install the ROM in front of the camera and decide the first experience and tell you guys how was it. And if I feel the ROM is worth it or I see a lot of comments about that ROM, I go ahead and review it in the full review using the five point ROM review system. Now the next question that I have is POCO F1 overnight charging. Now this is sort of a myth, not only about POCO F1, but also with a lot of other devices that if you charge the phone overnight, the battery will go bad or it will lose its life over time. That is not really the case. I have been doing this since the Nokia N93 or N97 days and I've never had a problem with the battery. Even now when I go to sleep, I just leave the phone connected to my MI power bank and overnight it does charge. Neither the power bank nor the phone has had any issues at all. Which is the best ROM for POCO F1? Trust me guys, this is a very, very, very difficult question because we've hardly reviewed five ROMs for this particular device. But in my opinion, so far, Pixel Experience gives you everything. It gives you the best of both worlds, something that is on par with MIUI when it comes to stability and uh, features and everything else. Pixel Experience is a great ROM for the POCO F1. Which is the best kernel for POCO F1? Um, I've not used any custom kernels yet. I'm starting to do that as we speak. So yes, those videos will come later as well. Which is the best gaming ROM? Uh, this is a very, very interesting question. There may be a better ROM than CR Droid, but in my experience with this device in the last five or six months, CR Droid has proved to be an amazing ROM when it comes to gaming on the Pocophone F1. Now, to conclude this video, I have a question for you guys. Now, there are two different ways in which I have reviewed ROMs on this particular channel. If you've been with this channel for a very, very long time, you would know that. The first way is real life ROM reviews in which uh, I would be using a ROM and every two or three hours, I would take a shot wherein I would discuss the battery or the real life gaming experience and stuff like that. A lot of people liked it back then when I did it with the 5T, but uh, the latest, you know, way of reviewing ROM is the five point ROM review system in which we give pointers to each and every section and then we sum up a total and give it a star rating and stuff. So let me know in the comment section, would you like to have real life ROM reviews, like a vlog sort of a thing, or you'd like to have a more arranged and organized review system like the five point ROM review system which we have created. So that is the video which answers all your questions. If I have missed any question, please let me know in the comment section. Until the next one, this is Kailash signing off with Smartphone Tutorials. Keep smiling, take care, goodbye.